hi friends welcome back to my channel my name is Goretti today we are going to look at 10 business ideas below 500,000 Ugandan shillings guys the first business we are going to talk about is the business of selling second-hand goods uh, if you have five, less than 500,000 Ugandan shillings, my suggestion is don't buy new items that will cost you a lot. Instead, go to markets such as Owino, where things are cheaper and will fit into your budget. So there are so many items you can get from Owino, like kids' clothes, shoes, bed sheets, school bags, max dresses, and more. Number two is selling polythene bags and, or paper bags. You can buy and sell polythene bags to market vendors, retail shop owners, or sell paper bags to pharmacies. Uh, these items or these bags will hold customers' goods and are a necessity for any business that has products to sell. Number three is the business of selling snacks. You can pack and sell roasted groundnuts, fried crisps, bagheer, soya, daddies, samosas, and more. These snacks are enjoyed by school kids and also adults. It's rare to find a retail shop in Uganda without them. Uh, number four is the chapati business. You can decide to open up a chapati store and all you need is a good location and a few items like a sigiri and the rest will depend on your skill. This business is very profitable and it requires very little capital to start. Uh, number five is the business of selling charcoal. Charcoal is widely used by Ugandan locals to prepare their meals and is a very good business and it also requires little capital to start. Okay. Our number six is the business of nail painting. Well, this business focuses more on women who love painting their nails and with this with the skill of cutting and painting nails, it's something that you can also consider to start with less than 500,000 Ugandan shillings. The jewelry business, or you can decide to sell earrings, bangles, necklaces, and you can complement this business with some makeup items. Number eight is the business of selling fruits or fruit selling. You can also sell a variety of fruits, for example, mangoes, bananas, sugar canes, pineapples, watermelons, along busy roads and make money with your little capital. Our number nine is being a broker. Being a broker requires actually zero capital because all you need is to help people find properties to rent and also connect buyers and sellers of land. To, uh, of land. So if you can connect yourself to other brokers in your area, it's going to give you easy access to the information you need. For example, which houses are vacant or which properties for sale. Our number 10 is the business of selling seasonal foods or cooked items. In this business, you're going to be selling in Senene, in Pafu, in Tontunu, Gonja, all those foods that are seasonal or come once in a while. And you can also sell cooked foods in the evenings for bachelors, for example, pilau, rice, roasted maize, meat, and roasted meat. To alongside this 